listening to Phantasm Podcast, a horror death metal podcast for the old school. Stuff, horror movie reviews, and death metal interviews, all in one body bag. Listen on iTunes, subscribe on YouTube, and like on Facebook, and head over to stagediverradio.com for more. This is Chad Gailey from Necrot, and you're listening to Phantasm Podcast. Phantasm. We are here today with Necrot's own Chad Gailey. How you doing, man? Doing well. How you doing, man? We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, here to talk about Dustful Magazine tour. It's going to be pretty fucking sick. It's you guys, Morbid Angel, Cannibal Corpse. Uh, you got Blood Incantation. Um, definitely a, a tour not to miss, so we'll get to that. Um, had some shows before I want to talk to you about. You guys did the... Uh, Despel Metal and Beer Fest in Los Angeles. Uh, talk a little bit about that. You had some pretty killer bands with you. Oh, that was a great time. Uh, I mean, we played the one in Philly earlier last year as well, and I mean, it was it was a killer time. Uh, the LA show was at uh, the Regent. It was, I mean, it was probably one of the biggest places I've ever played. And then you had bands like Testament and Godflesh and Trypticon playing an, a whole Celtic Frost set. Fuck yeah. Uh, I mean, it was it was such a great time. We also had our exclusive uh, beer that was brewed between us and Black Sands Brewery out of San Francisco. And so, you know, we were drinking that all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What was the, uh, the beer like? The, was it like a dark beer or was it? No, it was a it was a pretty light Kolsch IPA. Um, nice. It was like four point eight percent. So you know, it's like it it'll hit you, but you can keep <laughs> drinking it throughout the night. So uh, you, you know, it was it was a it's it's a very uh, balanced uh, beer, I think. So. Oh yeah. Do you have some of the other bands that were rocking the the Necrot beer? Oh yeah, I, I mean, I made sure to tell everybody that it was there, and uh, <laughs> I feel like. Uh, a lot of my friends drank it, and uh, pretty good reviews, so... Oh, yeah. it's good shit. So it was like an yeah. exclusive thing to the show? Yeah, it was brewed specifically for that show because... Nice. Um, Black Sands is a partner of Gimme Radio, and Gimme Radio was sponsoring the event. Right. So they thought, hey, since Necrot is playing, why not brew a beer and, you know you guys can promote it and they can promote it too so it was you know it was a win-win for everybody yeah it's kind of crazy being a part of a show that you know that many great bands and performances and then being like oh by the way you also uh get to have your own beer for this too <laughs> it's like, all right yeah let's, that's that's pretty yeah. awesome total package no it was great it was great i dig it and then you know speaking of testament you know chuck billy's got his own like vaporizers and shit so that's kind of cool you know? <laughs> You got everything going. You got his vaporizers, you got Necrot beer, and you got Celtic Frost. I mean, you know. Yeah. What's not to love? <laughs> it's, it's pretty sick. It sounds like a good time. Yeah. Um, then you did the Tank Crimes Takeover Tour. Uh, that was recent, wasn't it? That was, that was actually just one day in Oakland. That was just uh, last Saturday. It was a ghoul. Um, I love those guys. It was, yeah, it was ghoul, us, brain oil, kicker. Uh, Death Grave, my other band, Mortuous, also played. Hell yeah. And, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was a great time. Uh, it sold out. Um, I mean, all the bands killed it. It was, it was a really, really good show. Awesome. Yeah, what's not to like with Ghoul? I mean, those guys are some crazy bastards. Oh, man, they put on such an awesome show, and, I mean, they're all just such rippers live. It's, it's... I mean, they're one of the best bands in the Bay Area, for sure. I agree with that, for sure. Yeah. 100%. Now, the, the Decibel tour you guys 
got coming up. Uh, how are you guys' approach for that? That that's a huge, you know, tour. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we are really looking looking forward to it. I mean, we've been preparing for this tour basically since we were offered it. Just as far as like getting merch and just making sure our van is all set up and all of our gear is ready, like it's it's been quite an undertaking for us is just you know just to prepare for it but it's gonna pay off and uh when we hit san antonio with all the other bands it's i mean it's it's gonna be all worth it and i think the next month is gonna be uh gonna be quite a party (laughs) yeah this is the tour not to miss and now uh with the dates cannibals on of course um you know they got Eric Rutan stepping in from Hate Eternal, and that's just insane because you kind of got the the old Morbid Angel. It's in the realm of it, you know, because he's there. Yeah, it's cool, you know. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe uh, maybe we'll see him step on to Morbid Angel and do some old songs. <laughs> yeah, that would uh, that would just be insane. I mean, either way, no. <laughs> death metal tour of the year. You know, you guys, yeah. Blood Incantation. You know up and coming death metal you guys are the you know the new front runners of it i think so um definitely i'm, I'm glad you guys are a part of it because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty fucking huge um yeah so you start out the alma music hall have you guys played there before no um we've only actually played a couple shows in texas um back in 2017 so it'll be nice to come back and uh play some cities we haven't played before um I mean, before that, we're linking up with Blood Incantation when we're playing. Um, uh, we're playing in Albuquerque, yeah. And uh, and so we're gonna be we're gonna be doing like a whole bunch of shows with them during that decibel tour. It's like all the off shows, right? Yeah. But um, and Austin and Dallas as well. Yeah, yeah, we're doing Austin, Dallas, El Paso. Um, yeah, I mean, we're doing we're doing quite a few dates in Texas this this time around, so we're looking forward to that. Oh yeah, now what's uh any venues you guys are looking forward to playing you haven't before that you kind of bucket list kind of thing? Sorry, say that one more time. So do you guys have any venues that you know that you're gonna play at that are like on like a some kind of a bucket list? Like oh, this is gonna be fucking cool. Like you guys got the Palladium. I don't know if you guys have played there. I yeah, I mean all I just know that all these venues are are huge and like they're definitely bigger than what we normally play. Yeah. I mean just it, finding out that we were playing at the PlayStation Theater was pretty crazy just because uh yeah, New York it's a, it's right. yeah, it's a huge venue and uh right in the middle of Times Square. So uh you know, that's that's kind of cool. Um but yeah, I mean I'm sure like every show is just going to be packed with, you know, crazy death metal fans and, <laughs> yeah. you know that's what we want to see people going nuts and, and supporting everybody so we're stoked yeah I'm, I'm excited for you guys this is going to be huge and uh mm-hmm. definitely death metal tour of the year uh tickets are available now decibel magazine tour.com so you guys uh, pick that shit up and uh it's only it's been since 2017 you guys have blood offerings i think it's still one of those albums you can just keep listening to um, even years later, so it's 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 fucking awesome. You guys are still riding high off of that. Um, what do you got next coming up as far as music? You guys just focusing mainly on getting these shows. Well, after the Decibel tour, we're gonna concentrate on writing the new album. We've got some stuff in the works right now, um, but ultimately, uh, when we get back, is when we're really gonna um, we're really gonna just try to get that knocked out so we can get it recorded by the end of the year and then hopefully release it early next year and do a a big tour to support it so fuck yeah what's anything like the ones you've been doing it's gonna be just as crazy so we sure love to tour (laughs) (laughs) you know maybe get another beer or something and uh hey that'd be sick we're always down get something um the last segment i want to do here uh we always try to you know get to know each other a little bit and talk about horror movies so uh you guys fans of horror movies oh definitely what are what are some of your your go-to's oh man uh suspiria is always a great one fuck yeah the um hellraiser one and two <laughs> Those are the um 
<laughs> I, I mean, you go you go any further, it's like, eh, it's okay. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, Hellbound, it's like, oh, God, it's so brutal. Yeah, it's, um, it's really gory. It's gory as fuck. It's, you know. Yeah, City of the Living Dead, yeah. Tomb of the Blind Dead. Um, oh, man, now, I, now I'm, like, really trying to think. <laughs> uh, I mean, you always Exorcist, oh, of a classic, yeah. Rosemary's Baby. Oh, I mean, cool. not really horror, but, you know, well, psychologically, it's, yeah. it's, um, you know, uh, uh, any Fulci movie, uh, yeah, yeah. uh, you know, there's, uh, I mean, you know, you can go on, but like, I feel like right. the ones that I mentioned are, you like are the, definitely top. You like the Italian stuff. Oh yeah. I I'm mean, how can you that. not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm a gore fan, you know, the, um. And Matt Harvey of Exuma speaks very highly of you guys. He's he's a Fulci, like fanatic. It's like his favorite thing. So. Sick, yeah. Matt Matt's an awesome dude. Love that guy. Oh yeah, drinks a lot of beer. He's he's cool. He's <laughs> always got a cup of beer when I see him. Hell yeah, he's a funny guy. Um, but yeah, uh, have you seen the remake of Suspiria? I haven't even. Remade. I I actually just did. I just watched it, and. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty, like, uh, trippy, like, getting, you know, building up to the ending, but I feel like, I feel like the ending was just sort of, like, it definitely, like, oh, I wasn't expecting that, but also, like, it kind of goes, like, even too far, like, if you're a fan of gore, I mean, you'd definitely be stoked on it, just because it, it, like, goes over the top, (laughs) like, just, like, insanely over the top of the ending, but, um... I mean, the, the I, I like the take on it. I just feel like if if you're making a, a remake of any classic movie, you you're gonna want to like at least follow the the script a little, you know, or at least follow the original. Right. Cause but I, I feel like you know, I always love the ending, how they, you know, or she's fighting the witch or whatever. And like it, it's so like it's actually terrifying the way that it was shot. You know, it's it's actually yeah. a scary scene. The whole thing. And, mm-hmm. and I feel like they, they do a good job of, like, making it scary, making it really gory yeah. in this remake. But it, it's ultimately, like, it's it's kind of a different feeling. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll always love the original. Yeah, the, but, it's so you know, visceral in the soundtrack, you know. Uh, yeah, you, you can't touch it, especially if you've seen, uh, you know, zombie play. Like, you know, if you've seen... Um, goblin views zombie or you know whatever the incarnations of them if you've seen them play suspiria it's like and then like you know it it's i don't know i i really i still think the original is my favorite the new one wasn't bad but it wasn't like this is like the new standard right yeah (laughs) because you know the the original and i saw when they put out the 4k scan they put it out in like theaters Uh uh-huh and i went and saw it in theaters and it was incredible like the, the soundtrack was so fucking loud and it really drives the movie itself like without the soundtrack it wouldn't have been half as effective but like it's just such a visceral movie like it's not as like gory per se when you go back and watch it I mean it's very just brutal in the way that it the way that it's shot and everything you know the the whole scene it where she's like in the fucking just like a room full of like fucking barbed wire <laughs> and you're just like holy fuck like this is really yeah. brutal and, you know, you see, you know, of course you see her fucking veins getting, like, cut and blood everywhere. But, you know, as far as, like, it's still not really, like, gory. It's just, like, this is a fucked up ass movie, you know. Yeah, it <laughs> definitely is. Yeah, but that, that one still holds up, I think. It's just such a crazy movie. But I I, I want to check out the new one just so I can see it, you know. That's yeah, right. exactly. It's like it, it's there. You should, you know, if you're a fan of if, of Suspiria, you should at least check out the new one just so you can say, "Hey, I watched it." And if you liked it, you liked it. If you don't, you know, right? Yeah. Is there any other new movies that kind of surprised you that you've seen, like as far as horror? I mean, who? Uh, I just saw that movie Overlord or Overwatch. Yeah, uh, Overlord. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Overlord. That's that a was a really good movie. I, I mean, I thought I thought it was really gory. Um, the story was kind of it, it's kind of like a it, it was like, like a Quentin. Sorry, say that again. It seemed like it seemed like it was like Wolfenstein or something. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely like Wolfenstein. It felt like a you know a Grindhouse movie, but like just super like 
it, it was like it was really good i like that that was a newer movie that i i really liked as far as like gory horror kind of like action movie yeah. uh, another one i really liked was get out um, yeah, I thought just for the really psychological good. aspect of it. Yeah, I didn't expect that movie to be anything. What it, what like how it, everything started unfolding. I, I, it was going the way I thought it would at first, and then it just went off the fucking hinges. I had no idea <laughs> yeah. that movie just goes like complete three sixty and like this like really quick. I don't. I, I was blown away. I was like, oh my god, this is got really cool <laughs> I don't know what yeah <laughs> it, it was definitely surprising like um you know because I went into it not really knowing much about it just a lot of people being like oh yeah you should check this out it's really good and so I went and I was I was pleasantly surprised so I, I feel like uh you know uh, I think it was a uh, Jordan Peele yeah Jordan Peele yeah I always I'm like always trying to like uh, it's like it's is like it is it peel, fucking key yeah. or is it peel <laughs> it's peel yeah <laughs> It's the Peel one, yeah. The, yeah, but and it, I guess he's a. I guess he's coming back with the Twilight Zone. Yeah, we'll, they're we'll doing see. like new episodes or something. That Super Bowl spot fucked me up because like it started glitching and stuff, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Like it actually worked because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention that it was actually an ad because, you know, when they showed it at the Super Bowl trailer, it shows it like, "Okay, we're back here at the Mercedes Benz, you know, dome or whatever," and then like uh-huh. it's glitching and like fucking up, and then you're like. Is this just my TV? And then starts doing the Twilight Zone stuff, and you know you can hear the music. It's pretty cool. So that was very mm-hmm. effective. Um, you see the the new Halloween? Um, no, I actually didn't get a chance to see that one yet. Um, it's fucking I, awesome. I, I, oh, so it was good. It is fucking awesome. Yes, awesome. If you're even remotely a fan of the original, you know, three. It's 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 awesome. That's. It's gory as shit. It's very brutal. Um, story's really good, you know, for, like, a modern take on it. And it's, you know, it, it takes place after the first, I guess, two. Um, so it's 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 in a good place, too. It's not, like, a remake, you know. It's actually a continuation. Um, so, yeah, it's they did a really good job with it. I was very impressed. Well, that's good to know because, yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely been a fan of Halloween ever since I was really young. I mean, I've seen every single one, yeah, pretty much. And so, like, this is the one that I still have yet to see. And I got, I, I heard mixed reviews. I heard a lot of people liked it, and I heard a lot of people didn't. Yeah, I but, really liked it, um, and, and I, yeah. was, you know, just kind of went for it. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go see this movie. It's Halloween. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go do it. I, I think I'm gonna have to see it now too. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely gory. It's more like it, it's Michael Myers. It's awesome. So that's yeah. all I can say, <laughs> just without uh, giving away anything. But it's 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 a pretty badass movie. Killer. Was well, there anything else you'd like to plug before I let you go? Um, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, having me and having me uh, interviewed for the show. And fuck yeah, um, really looking forward to the Decibel tour and touring with Blood Incantation and. Immolation, Morbid Angel, Cannibal Corpse. It's going to be the best death metal tour of the year. Definitely That's right. Don't miss it, guys. And uh, I'm excited to see you guys when you when you tour. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been awesome talking to you, and I look forward to seeing you on a show. Yeah, thanks again. Hey, no problem, man. Cheers. <laughs>